The Yankees and Mets will play the second game of their doubleheader and final game of their five-game series. The Yankees rallied for five runs with two outs in the seventh inning to tie it and won the game in the eighth to tie the series 2-2. Two two. Davey Garcia will make his Major League debut as the Yankees will be considered as the visiting team for this one. There's the Yankees lineup presented by Wheels. They'll face Seth Lugo. There's how the Mets will line up defensively. All right, let's get into the action, starting with the top of the first. DJ grounded one fair, over first, and down the right field line. He stayed at first with a leadoff single to begin the ball game. Remember, the Yankees are the visiting team, which is why they're batting first. Voigt line one to third. Davis dropped the ball, but then recovered and started a 5-4-3 double play for the first two outs of the inning. A little bit of deja vu from the first game. Hicks struck out looking to end the inning. McNeil grounded one past Garcia, but Wade made the play for the first out of Davey Garcia's major league career. Conforto popped one up in the infield. Urshela made the call and the catch for the second out of the inning. Smith struck out looking to end a 1-2-3 first for Davey Garcia in his MLB debut. Frazier hit one on the ground and threw the right side for a base hit to begin the top of the second. Sanchez threw behind Frazier at first, and he was called out on the play. It really wasn't a close play. The first base umpire missed this call. The Yankees challenged, and Frazier was safe. Urshela struck out swinging for the first out of the inning. Talkman struck out swinging for the second out of the inning. Kratz hit one on the ground to third, and Davis made the play to end a scoreless inning for Lugo. Davis struck out swinging for the first out of the bottom of the second. Cano popped one in the air to left, and Talkman made the play for the second out of the inning. Alonzo also popped one in the air to left, and Talkman was there to end another 1-2-3 inning for Garcia as he retired the first six batters he faced in order to begin his major league career. Wade drilled one in the air to deep right field. Conforto went back. He looked up, and this one was gone. Tyler Wade lined a home run into the porch and right to give the Yankees a 1-0 lead. He doesn't hit many home runs, but you'll definitely take it when he does hit the ball out of the yard. Estrada hit one on the ground to short, and Rosario made the play for the first out of the inning. DJ struck out looking on a pitch that clipped the lefty batter's box for the second out of the inning. That pitch wouldn't even be a strike at the Little League World Series. Voigt struck out swinging to end the inning, but the Yankees took the lead. Rosario struck out swinging to begin the bottom of the third. Mariznik struck out looking for the second out of the inning. Sanchez struck out swinging to end the inning as Garcia struck out the side and has five strikeouts already. Hicks swung at the first pitch and lined it in the right field for a base hit to lead off the top of the fourth. Frazier struck out looking for the first out of the inning. Urshela worked the count full and walked to put two on with one out. The 1-0 pitch to Talkman got away from Sanchez and both runners moved up. It's nice to say that when it's not Gary Sanchez who missed the block. With a 3-0 count, they intentionally walked Talkman to load the bases for Kratz with one away. Kratz struck out swinging for the second out of the inning. You gotta hit the ball in the air right there. You can't strike out in that situation. That ended the day for Lugo as Yankee legend Chasen Shreve came in for the Mets. Wade swung on the first pitch and popped it in the air to right. Conforto made the play to end the inning as once again the Yankees failed to score with the bases loaded. McNeil hit one on the ground and threw the right side for a base hit to begin the bottom of the fourth. Conforto struck out swinging for the first out of the inning. Smith ripped one to the right side, but Estrada made an amazing diving stop. He got the out at first for the second out of the inning as he robbed Smith of a base hit. And let's take one more look at that great play by Estrada. Davis popped one up behind the plate, and Kratz made the play to end another scoreless inning for Garcia. Estrada lined one in the right center field for a base hit to begin the top of the fifth. DJ lifted one in the air to left center field. McNeil drifted to his left to make a nice running play for the first out of the inning. Voigt chased a 3-2 pitch in the dirt for the second out of the inning. Hicks worked the count full and walked, bat flip, to put two on with two away. Hicks might have hurt himself during the at-bat because Boone took him out of the game after the walk. Brett Gardner went in as a pinch runner. Frazier hit one in the air to center. Marisnik made the play as the Yankees left two more runners on base. Cano lined one in a right center field for a base hit. Frazier made a diving play to cut the ball off and keep Cano at first with a leadoff single. Alonzo lifted one in the air to left. Talkman came in to make the play for the first out of the inning. Rosario popped one in the air to right, and Frazier made the play for the second out of the inning. Marisnik hit a swinging bunt up the third baseline. 
Kratz let it roll, and it stayed fair for a base hit. The Mets now had two on with two outs. Sanchez popped one up in the infield. Urshela made the play to end the inning as Garcia completed five shutout innings in his Major League debut. Urshela walked to begin the top of the sixth as Shreve was still in there for the Mets. Talkman struck out swinging for the first out of the inning. Kratz lined one in the left field for a base hit to put two on with one away for the Yankees. Wade hit one on the ground a second. He's fast, but the Mets were still able to turn a 4-6-3 double play to end the inning. McNeil hit one towards first, but it went off the glove of Voight and down the right field line. McNeil went to second on the E3 to put the tying run in scoring position with nobody out for the Mets. Conforto swung at the first pitch and popped it up. Urshela drifted into foul territory to make the play for the first out of the inning as he couldn't advance the runner to third. Garcia left an 0-2 pitch over the middle, and Smith lined it into left field for a base hit. McNeil came in to score on the RBI single by Smith to tie the game at 1. For those of you keeping score at home, that's an unearned run thanks to the error by Voigt. Davis hit one on the ground to short. The Yankees turned a 6-4-3 double play to end the inning. Garcia was through 6 in his debut, but the Mets tied the game with an unearned run. J.D. Davis appeared to have hurt himself during warm-ups between innings. The Mets took him out of the game, and Jimenez came in. Ford hit one in the air to left, and McNeil made the play for the first out of the seventh against Familia. DJ hit one on the ground to second, and Cano made the play for the second out of the inning. Voigt hit one towards short, but Rosario bobbled the ball. Voigt reached on the E6 to keep the inning going. Gardner hit one in the air to fairly deep center. Marisnik drifted back to make the play in front of the track to end the inning. Cano struck out swinging on a high fastball for the first out against Holder. Alonso swung on the first pitch and hit it on the ground to third. Urshela made the play for the second out of the inning. Rosario hit one high in the air to right. Frazier made the play to end the inning and send this one into extras. Gardner would start the inning on second with nobody out. Frazier worked a four-pitch walk to begin the eighth against Drew Smith. Two on, nobody out. Urshela hit one in the air to deep left field. McNeil went back, onto the track, and he made the play. Both runners tagged on the play, and they both moved up on the productive out by Urshela. Talkman was intentionally walked, and Gary Sanchez pinched it for Kratz with the bases loaded and one out. Gary Sanchez drilled one in the air to deep left center field, and there was no doubt about this one. All Marisny could do was turn and watch as Gary Sanchez had a long, grand slam into the bleachers and left to give the Yankees a 5-1 extra innings lead. Nobody needed that more than Gary Sanchez. I've been tough on him lately, but it's great to see him finally come through in the clutch as he hit that ball 453 feet. Wade struck out looking for the second out of the inning. Mercer popped him up in the infield, and Rosario made the play to end the inning. Rosario will start the bottom of the eighth on second base with the Mets down by four. Marisnik struck out swinging for the first out of the bottom of the eighth. Guillaume worked the count full and walked. He can't be walking people here with a four-run lead in extras. Gotta let him earn it. McNeil hit one on the ground to first. Voigt made a risky play and got the out at second for the second out. Personally, I would have taken the shore out at first, but I guess it works either way. Conforto line one in the left center field for a base hit. A run came in to score to make it 5-2, but more importantly, the tying run came up. Smith line one in the right field for a base hit. The runners moved station to station as the tying runs were now on, and Wilson Ramos came up as the winning run. This ended the day for Holder as Sessa came in for the save. Ramos struck out swinging to end the ball game. The Yankees beat the Mets 5-2 to sweep the doubleheader and win the five-game series 3-2. What a turnaround for the Yankees after losing the first two games. They'll go into a series with the Rays on a three-game winning streak tomorrow with some momentum for the biggest series of the season. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, everybody, and let's go Yankees!